Hi everybody, it is February 14th, Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. Um, it, it saddens me to be on the road and not be able to be home with Maureen and celebrate uh, the, the holiday with her. Um, I sent flowers uh, from here. She should get them hopefully today. Um, but um, it's a uh, it's always kind of tough being gone when things like this happen, but uh, it it's, comes with the territory. It's That's one of the hard parts of being on the road is you miss a lot of things. I've missed uh, many things over the years, but uh, happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. We are out of here. I finished my um, album project yesterday, got all eight tracks done, and he's very happy with them. I'll talk about that, that project once it's it's more in a state of completion and uh, but Simon Phillips played drums on it and uh, cool stuff it's all it's, at least what I hear is all instrumental he's a guitar player and uh, it was really fun to do that have a couple more projects to work on while I'm out here but I can I can tuck that one in it's it's gone to bed now um, but we are out of here today at uh, one o'clock, I'm still in Austin, uh, but we are heading to College Station, Texas, uh, to play tonight, and then we're just, you know, we're back on the one-nighter circuit here. The days off are gone for a while. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, since I've been down here, I've just been kind of jumping into a whole bunch of uh, the country projects that I had done over the years, and I, I found another one, and I'm going to go ahead and share that. And this is a real interesting um, guy. Here, yeah, his, uh, his name's Mark Colley, and um, but I found some real interesting things about him. So I'm going to read a little stuff. Some people go, "Why in the hell do you read?" You know, the the, the stuff for us here. But not everybody's going to look it up. So I figure, um, if you don't want to hear, you know, the the story of the artist before I play the music, then you know, just go do the dishes or, uh, you know pet the dog or play with the kitty or whatever, whatever. But I'm, I think it's important to share a little bit of their history because this guy has a real interesting backstory. Um, so I want to do that. Um, so it says, uh, George Mark Colley was born uh, in January 18th, 1956. as an American country music singer, songwriter, musician, actor, record producer, and fundraiser for type 1 diabetes. He has won awards and acclaim for his music, his acting, and his philanthropy. His singing career has included five major label albums, four for MCA and one for Giant. Uh, Sixteen of his singles have charted on the Hot Country uh, songs, um, including his top ten hits, Even the Man on the Moon is Crying and Born to Love You. Kali has written songs for Aaron Tippin, Alabama, Garth Brooks, Tim McGraw, and J.T. Hodges. His acting career includes roles in Fire Down Below, The Punisher, and Kill Switch. Now, in Fire Down Below, that was a Steven Seagal movie, and uh, I was involved in the music on that, as, as was, was Mark, and when they were premiering it, we ended up putting a, a band together and went out on the road with Steven for the premieres uh, of that movie, um, and it was an amazing, amazing um, band, a uh, real cast of characters on that, and we had, we had just a, it was really a fun time, it was kind of crazy, but, but really fun. But um, it, let's see what we got. From the beginning of his performing and recording career, Collie's singing and performing style drew comparisons to Bruce Springsteen and Johnny Cash as a result of Collie's combination of rockabilly energy, intensity, and clever songwriting. Um, then it goes on and talks about his, his, his records up to what he's doing now. Um, uh, but it also has, you know, Collie songwriting class with Garth Brooks, Tim McGraw, Alabama, George Jones. He's also noted for writing songs for Hollywood movies such as Lion Gates, The Punisher, starring John Travolta, and Fire Down Below, starring Steven Seagal. In addition to his own recordings, Collie has produced or co-produced albums uh, for Brant Vogel, J.T. Hodges, Kyle Sherman, and the Horn family. Acting-wise, Collie has acted in television series and movies, independent features, and Hollywood feature films. Starting in 1994 and continuing to present, Kali has played a variety of characters, including in 1999, Johnny Cash in the short um, uh, Still Miss Someone. 
uh, which he also co-wrote and co-produced with filmmaker John Lloyd Miller. Collie also prepared as Frankie Gray on the ABC series Nashville. Collie has a small role as an assassin, Harry Heck, where he played a song called In Time in Front of uh, Castle in The Punisher. But then this is where it gets good, too. I mean, Collie was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes as a teenager, and in the early 90s, after finding success as a country music singer, he began a series of celebrity NASCAR events that included legend car races and concerts that have raised millions of dollars for research into a cure for type 1 juvenile diabetes. Collie's efforts have resulted in, uh, in a research chair at Vanderbilt University, Mark Collie Chair, in diabetes research and his Mark Colley Foundation continues to generate donations. In 91, Colley was part of a filmed benefit concert in Nashville Centennial Park along with George Jones to salute American troops in Operation Desert Storm. The concert was filmed by director John Lloyd Miller and distributed for free to armed services, television, and to the United States troops throughout the Middle East. Um, on April 3rd, 1996, Aaron Tippin and Mark Colley uh, helped organize and load a cargo plane with 25,000 country cassettes for free distribution to state's troops in Bosnia and was later uh, awarded the American Spirit Award by the United States Air Force for his efforts. Uh, Kali has performed at benefits throughout his career for a diverse collection of causes, including the Nashville Food Bank, the Blue Note Fund, Fallen Police, and Victims of Domestic Violence. Um, in February 2001, Mark Colley delivered the eulogy for race car legend Dale Earnhardt at a memorial service that included performances by Vince Gill and Steve Warner at the Gaylord Entertainment Center in Nashville. Um, um, Mark Colley married his longtime girlfriend at a private ceremony in Columbia, uh, Tennessee in 2009. The two split their time between their home in Fort Worth, Texas and Nashville. So that's just a basic thing, but there's a whole bunch of <clears throat> other information about his um, each of the album um, periods for him. But I'm going to go ahead and um, play some tracks from this. It's a, a once again a great band. When we were, when we were down in Nashville working, it's always amazing. So um, these songs are myself on bass. The drums were split between James, the great James Stroud, who I worked with as a producer. He he tutored under Jimmy Bowen and produced a lot of great records, but he's a great drummer. And the wonderful Paul Lyme, who I saw when we did the um, um, screening of our documentary in Nashville. Paul came to that and we got to hang out for at dinner and stuff. It was really great. We have Dan Huff and Tony Joe White on guitar, Stuart Duncan on fiddle. Um, Steve Nathan on organ, John Hobbs and Matt Rawlings on piano. Yesterday I did a two-hour interview with Matt Rawlings for his podcast that he's starting to put together now, and it was great was hanging with him. Uh, Paul Franklin on steel guitar, Larry Byram on acoustic guitar. The background vocals um, are Curtis Young, Laura Lay, McBroom, and Susie Wills. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um... It was mastered by John Guess and Marty Williams, mixed by John Guess, who have done tons of records with too, also produced by Mark Colley and James Stroud, and, re and engineered by uh, John Guess. And um, that's, I think that's basically it for right now. Let's go ahead and, um, oh, we recorded at Loud recording in Nashville and 16th Avenue Sound and Javelina Recording Studios mixed it loud recording and mastered at the workstation. So uh, let's see what we got here. This is Mark Colley. So um, this one is called, let me see if they got some writing credit on this one here. <sighs> Jesus. Um, this is called, I don't see anything here on that, but uh, this is called Steady As She Goes, Mark Colley. Uh, hold on one sec here. I want to, um, oh, just so you, so you know, um, the, we cut this in 1995, and uh, the album is called Tennessee Plates, and it's a picture of Mark standing in front of a wall of old license plates. Oh, this was written by um, Bob DiPiero, John Scott Sherrill, and Michael M Mugrage on this. So uh, let's jump down here into Steady As She Goes. <laughs> Keep it. 
up like that. It's unbelievable in this hotel and, and it's buffering in here. Well, let's see what the hell happens here with this. Actually, I have not seen a little spinning disc in a very, very long time. Hmm. Do not know what in the world's going on here. Be patient with me, and we will try to get this this all working here. Huh? Come on, give me a break. This is ridiculous. in a while. I don't know what, what's going on here with that. Um, uh, let's see, we got a song here uh, that was written by Trey Bruce and Mark Colley called Lipstick Don't Lie. Here's, here's hoping. Let's see what happens with this one. Picked up his shirt off the floor Behind the bathroom door When the truth caught her eye She trembled inside She made up a thousand excuses And Lord, they all sounded so foolish Face to face with the one thing she couldn't deny. Lipstick don't lie. She hearts walk, alibis talk. Sometimes a smile can erase the doubt. 
Here's one called Three Words, Two Hearts, One Night by Jerry House and Mark Colley. Three words, two hearts, one night together. Never dream that I 
two hearts One night together Soft whispers in the candlelight Warm kiss Two arms You know, those kind of track, I just love those, you know, it's just because it just creates such an image of these people just kind of shuffling around the dance floor in kind of a really nice, funky old uh, country bar. I think the thing I've, I've always just loved so much is the fact that I get to play on so many different styles of music throughout my career to have, you know, have done, you know, Billy Cobham and then doing this and then doing I Am Woman and... and, and and it's raining men and spry sand and all this stuff. It's, it sure keeps it interesting. I'll say that. Jesus, really fun. Okay, we'll do one more here and uh, see what this one is. Um, what is this? Even the man in the moon is crying is the name of this. Let me see if I can get any credits on here. Hmm. I'm not finding that, but let's go ahead and check it out. Here we go. I walked her to the plane <laughs> and <laughs> What a day. I said, say hello. Just like nothing happened But somewhere in the darkness I heard her say goodbye
So that's Mark Colley, Tennessee Plates is the album. Um, so I'm going to get going, get ready. i got to pack up and get ready to check out of the hotel and, uh, and hit the highway. Um, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I just wish everybody a great one. It was fun, a little bit of, I mean, it, it's like you're balancing things when you turn on the TV in the morning between this another mass shooting in Michigan at the university up there, but they found three people alive in the rubble uh, in the Middle East. Um, God knows. I mean, it's just the, the balancing thing. And Russia started a new offensive into Ukraine, and I hope they don't shoot down a uh, Goodyear blimp over my house. <laughs> it's like that. You just sit there every day, and just all you don't want to do is all you want to do is just try to enjoy every day, play music, you know, bring some some enjoyment to, to life and just see so much insanity but at least some um at least they found some, uh, some people alive three uh, three three teenagers different locations but uh, they, it's amazing it's just amazing what these people are going through um i'll probably be back with another video later today once we get to college station and i'll, I'll see what the venue's like and take you for a walk around that but uh, till then, uh, just take good care and um, happy Valentine's Day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.